It's named after the river close to where its first victims were from more than 30 years ago. And when Ebola strikes, it often does so with deadly force. This latest outbreak in Guinea has left more than 80 people dead and the authorities struggling to cope. This is a three-dimensional section through budding viruses that are similar to Ebola. Several thousand kilometers away from Conakry, scientists are trying to work out how highly contagious viruses operate. There's probably about a two-week waiting period where you wouldn't know if you had it or not, and then the symptoms set in and uh, get progressively worse, and you're dead within a month usually. Ebola is a filovirus and is considered too dangerous to keep on site here. This is probably the most dangerous virus that we know of. And Ebola is a virus that can still kill 90% of its victims in the modern age with the best that med medicine can throw at them. Ebola knows no borders. Several suspected cases of the disease have already been discovered beyond Guinea. Detecting viruses of this nature in laboratory conditions can be complex. So you put down a little bit of the virus in these wells and then you take the serum from the patient's blood and you can put it down there and if it reacts with the virus that means they've seen the virus sometime in the past. Now this usually only develops a few weeks after infection so it's usually too late to help the patient but this can help and figure out how the epidemic is spread. Once a person actually comes down with what we think is Ebola disease the Doctors Without Borders have to go back and trace all the people that that person's bought a cup of coffee from, shaken hands with, been in the same house with during a two-week period. That's a lot of footwork. A vaccine against Ebola is thought to be years away. Containment may be the only option for now. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.